Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. Hope you guys are fine. So guys, in today's small session, I'll be telling you that how you can become a rocket scientist in India. Of course guys, after the launch, successful launch of Chandrayaan 3, we are like, obviously we should also go to such esteemed organization like ISRO and contribute in the development and growth of our country. Definitely that patriotism comes into us. But the point is that what should be the various steps like if you have done your uh, although you have completed your BTEC from mechanical engineering but still you are inclined towards space so is it possible or not let's quickly talk it about okay so why do wait let's start before that if you don't know about me you can go through my profile and now let's start it number one the very very basics which is required is fundamental knowledge of physics and mathematics of course, guys, after 10th, uh, you have to choose stream of physics and mathematics for the advanced concepts and all, which will be definitely used in the, these organizations for the rocket la launching and many other things. Okay. After that, the next thing, apart from physics and mathematics knowledge in your 10 plus 2, the next thing which comes into action is bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Now, let me tell you, it's not very, very mandatory that only bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering is necessary. Apart from this, like if you have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, you can have an MTech in the designing part of and all those things. And then also you can go to ISRO. So basically, but the very initial phase, like if you're very, very clear from the starting that you want to go into this aerospace and this robotics uh, or basically ro not robotics, rockets and all. So basically then aerospace engineering is the very basic thing you should opt for. So here, what will be happening here, that is the step towards your rocket science and rocket launching. So that will provide you a broader perspective. Next coming further, apart from bachelor's degree, what else you can opt for is training opportunities. You might have seen, uh, you can if uh, regularly if you visit to the site of ISRO, you will see that they conduct various internship programs. So it's not like that you're sitting, you're reading about it. If you want to know the practical working experience of it, how the functions are being performed, what are the fundamentals, what are the things which you have to take care of when you make a rocket during the launching of it, a number of things which will help you is with the proper internship programs. Okay, so when you do internship with this esteemed organization, your chances also becomes more that uh, since you have gained experiences and all, whenever the vacancies comes, your recruitment chances increase. Now, next coming further after this is, after this, the next thing which comes is getting a master's degree. So as I told you, if, like you are a mechanical engineer, but if you might have seen the profile of uh, those people who were involved, like those who were heading uh, different, different departments. Some was handling regarding the design one, some was handling regarding the uh, other departments. So you might have seen that not everybody has the same bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Some people have bachelor's degree in uh, this one, mechanical engineering. Some people even have diploma also, but then they did higher, they pursue their higher studies in basically a particular topic or a particular subject. Okay, so that's that's what I told you that if you want to get a master's degree in the designing part of it or any other part of it, the propulsion part of it, anything, you can go through that. Even if your BTEC is not from aerospace engineering. Okay, so what is the designing or the development of spacecraft? What are the things you have to take care of? Everything you can know if you opt for a master's degree. Okay, now after master's degree, if you want, you can pursue, basically pursue PhD also. Apart from that, you can find job opportunities at space research institution. Now, let me ask, uh, clear one more doubt. You guys will say that, ma'am, civil people does not have any work or what in rocket launching. So, yeah, like civil engineering buildings, works and all, you will be appointed. But, yeah, if you do a particular courses in the designing part and the aircrafts part, then you can go in this segment. Because if you talk about ISRO, it's a very big organization and where different categories are there. So, it's not about space, it's about construction, it's about hospitals, a number of things are there. Technicians are also there. But, right, now I'm talking about the rocket scientist part. Okay, I'm not talking about other parts. 
fine so now what you can do is you can opt for job opportunities also at the space research institutions so yeah you can directly apply for the positions for the organization sometimes uh, for some posts they need experience and just they take direct interview for some other post along with uh, taking the objective papers and all they take interviews okay so based on the post we and based on the vacancies they have different methods of recruitment next coming further as i told you you can pursue a phd yes for doctorate program so like if you would have seen the people involved you would have seen that some people have apart from mtech they have specialization further so they have done research in the field of space technology so if you want although you are from another field but you can switch your field you can do mtech you can even pursue phd which increases your chance exponentially to be uh, entering into these esteemed organizations okay and if you ask me that ma'am what are the aerospace engineering top colleges so iit bombay of course mit manipal iist tiruvannathapuram iit kanpur are some of the top colleges for aerospace engineering so if you are make if you are working hard and you can make it up to there that's too good but these are the various ways by which if you want to become a rocket scientist in india you can pursue okay that's all for today guys if you want to know any other further queries you can drop uh, drop your queries on the comment section and i'll make a video for that thank you everybody